Hello guys, gals, and non-binary clubs. It is Shimmy Shake here today, and I'm with my roomie. No, this is my new roomie. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sarah. Today we are going to be playing Truth or Drink. The rules of the game are pretty easy. We ask each other a question, and the other person can answer with the truth and nothing but the truth, or they drink. To clarify, it is water. <laughs> stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, guys. We're not drinking, drinking, but y'all stay safe out there. So, Monique, have you ever accidentally almost hit someone in their own driveway? Would, like, if tomorrow he was like, hey, wanna go on a date? Would you go on a date with I mean, so, I'm, he, okay, 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 okay. The thing is, he's dating someone, so I would say no. But if he wasn't dating anyone, mm -hmm. then yes. What was the last thing you lied about? That's a good question. <laughs> oh, I know. The last lie I told is I told my <laughs> that I was for sure just gonna <laughs> Cause I don't know, but I didn't want to tell you that there's a chance I moved to Vegas. Who is the person that you lied to the most? What's your deepest, darkest secret? <laughs> Uh, my deepest, darkest secret. <laughs> so you know when people tell you a story, or like you see two people and you're like, damn, those people seem like they're lying about something. Or like you see people and you're like, I think they're hiding something together. Mm -hmm. Who are two people that you think that of? Like two people who are hiding a secret together, they have a secret. The fans! No, I'm kidding. Um. <laughs> <laughs> You know that movie, Happy Death Day. Would you be the roommate or the roommate? I gotta be either. Cause I, I'm not like mean to people mm -hmm. and I wouldn't kill someone. So I feel like- Good choice. Neither. Good I wouldn't choice. be the roommate, I'd be an extra. Who is, out of every guy I've dated, who's your least favorite? And who is your favorite? Both of these people are bad. Both of them. I hate them both equally. Wow. D-bag would be my least favorite just because of all the things that happened. My most favorite would be B. To be honest, <coughs> B is my favorite X <laughs> too. Well, I really like J too. Like, J and B. <laughs> JB, Justin Bieber. They're my favorite exes. In high school, what is the thing that you did that got you in the most trouble? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think I was the best high schooler. I'm very good. I never disobeyed any of the rules. So we're not going to count college, even though I was like a high school age in college, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. <laughs> then my old statement still applies. Like, I didn't really get in trouble at school. Like, I think I had a couple years like, suspended in high school. I was already grounded, and there was this kid that I was friends with in one of my years, and my mom put a bunch of locks on my phone. So I was like, oh yeah, sorry, I can't snap you back. And he was like, mm, just breaking the passcode. And I was like, you are so smart. Beep, beep, beep. I guessed it on my first try. And then my mom saw my screen time and figured out that I broke into her passcode and I got in a lot of trouble. Damn, double homicide. What is the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? <laughs> my, the most embarrassing thing was when I cried at um, our Christmas concert in junior year. That was so embarrassing. Because I cried. I cried too. <laughs> So like, I was already stressed out because our teacher was not, our actual teacher wasn't there 
because he was sick. Mm -hmm. And uh, like we were just trying to get this Christmas concert concert all together, and so I was already overwhelmed about that, right? No, I didn't cry after Christmas. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was you like, wait, no, I mix up concerts. I cried at the last. Yeah, concert. I cried at the last concert. I was like, too. I cried too. <laughs> I remember one of the songs. I was one of the people that was gonna speak. I thought that was on fire. Anyway, uh, I was gonna speak. Like I was the last person to speak, and the person playing the piano skipped a measure, and I didn't get to speak at all. Like I, as they started speaking, the choir started singing, and I was like, I, I like froze, and I was like, what? And at the very end, I don't know. I just felt so embarrassed that I cried. And I was in the, <laughs> my teacher's uh, like little office, and I was crying. <laughs> and everyone was like, "What's wrong? What's wrong?" And I just started bawling my eyes out. But yeah, that I feel like that was my most embarrassing thing because I was in front of everyone. Like people were watching me, and I was like, like holding the mic, and the choir just started singing, and I was like, "What the heck?" I'm gonna ask the same question to you. What is your most embarrassing moment? I've never been embarrassed, actually. B.S. <laughs> come on. <laughs> um, that's a good question. Let me think. I know I know I have to have had it's... like a most embarrassing, oh, but I can't think of one. I'm getting ripped tonight. R.I.P. That's how I scream. I am so fucking fast. <laughs> and everyone was like, Who do you ship out of your real life friends? Oh, I just. Gave me a great question for you, but okay. Oh, no. So real life friends, I would have to ship Elena with her boyfriend because they're cute together. I've never seen them together, bro. Like I know her, and yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah. her boyfriend, but I don't know her boyfriend. They're cute. I believe you, Sarah. <laughs> no, lady bug or lady bug? Um, I would definitely have to say I ship. From the friend group, not from like the public. Like, who out of our friends do you think has a big secret from the friend group? <laughs> Me, Enzo, Emily, Fizza, Ashlyn, Brian. Who do you think is hiding the most in the chat? Me? <laughs> <laughs> Scene that's not only finished, but yeah, I mean, you know about that. Mm -hmm. You guys know about that the other big plan, which isn't gonna come for a while, but like the travel vlogs when I live in a van and travel the country, that's a big, big plan, but like that's not gonna come for a while. If you were on the verge of death, who would you trust to save you more, Brandon or Enzo? What are you like having this image of my like? Let's say you're literally hanging off of a cliff. And both Brandon and Enzo are like, Sarah, take my hand. Whose hand are you taking? I don't like this image just because I know what Brandon would say. He'd grab his hand and he'd drop you. Yeah, that's <laughs> what you would do. You'd be like, you'd be like, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the Sorry, Oscar. I don't love what you would expect it. just to see if you actually did <laughs> what is the last message you sent we're gonna play truth or drink what's the last message you sent sarah what is the last message i sent yes <laughs> that's what i said <laughs> if you could do redo anything in your past 
what would you do? I don't know how to say this without saying it, like, and it sounds really bad. <laughs> but I think I would have tried harder in my relationship with Jay. Not to say that I didn't try, but... Yeah, no, 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 I get what you mean, though. Like, like, because we broke up because we're like, mm, it's too hard to be in a relationship. Like, I wish I did try, like, make more of an effort than I did. Do you have any secrets that you keep from the group chat with the people I mentioned earlier? Not really. Are you scared of Emily's brother? Brothers. Plural. I'm not scared of Dylan. So why are you scared of Justin? Why aren't you scared of Justin? Why aren't you? <laughs> what was the most trouble you got into in middle school? <laughs> Have you ever spit milk on this somebody? About <laughs> twelve year old Monique. Oh no. <laughs> what? Like what was her greatest fear? Like, like, biggest, biggest fear. Like, getting buried alive. What is your favorite memory ever? When acapella won that trophy. Like, that was the best day ever. Like, even when we went to the theme park. It's like a huge accompl accomplishment. Everything about choir. That was my favorite memory. You? I think my favorite memory. It's just that entire trip that we took to California, like going to Universal that Studios, too. going to the pool, like that was my favorite thing. Like, we had so much fun that went by fast. If you could redo something, what would you redo? I have two things. Can I say both of them? So one of them would, like no offense, like, I kind of wish I didn't move back to Oklahoma. I don't know, like it was an experience of its own and I did meet like some decent people on the way, like, but I still feel like I would have been better if I stayed. Even though like choir would have been short lived anyway, I just, I don't know, I wasn't really happy down there yeah. like I thought I would be because like Tulsa, I did not like it. I prefer Oklahoma City over Tulsa any day. But, oh, and then my second thing. Never mind, I cared the three. There's so many things I wish I did in my life. <laughs> oh my god. Like, say no to you know who about. <laughs> like it went good at first, but then it just slowly kind of. I oh, know I was gonna get like that though. Like, like I knew, sweet, but at the same time, like he didn't have boundaries. That was just the worst experience I've ever had in a relationship. Like it wasn't traumatizing, but <laughs> it was not a good experience. I just felt bad because you did set boundaries and crossed the boundaries that you set, and that was like my issue. Like not, issue. not, not to an extreme. No, 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 no. Like not, not like that. Not, not like that. She just said like, hey, when you're with other people, here's what you can't do because that makes me uncomfortable. And then he crossed that line. Even my friends would tell him like, hey, don't touch me, because he would like, I don't know, like touch, like not touch them, like touch, touch, but like he would just be like, like all like touchy feely like huggy and tapping on the head and they wouldn't like that and they would tell him to stop but he wouldn't my third one would probably be like re like a restart on that relationship with Kay. I wish I could redo that whole entire relationship. Oh, I, I told Kay that I had a crush on another guy but I never had a crush on another guy but they wouldn't even let me defend myself, so I don't know. <laughs> Where do we start? No, because I don't want to go to your work. Like, I like your work. Yeah, I don't, don't want to go to your work either. I don't want to have your life. 
I would want like your like, I, <laughs> I don't want to clean all day. <laughs> you don't think scrubbing other people's shit is fun? <laughs> no. <laughs> I would rather work out with Little Caesar. I mean, I like Little Caesar's just like, I wouldn't be busy enough. And that would bug me. Tell me something that you've never had the guts to tell me before. Or drink. I'm trying to think if there's actually anything. Well, I know something that I haven't told you. <laughs> Stop the camera. <laughs> what is it? I literally can't think of anything. It's right like now. if you can't think of anything, then just drink. I literally can't think of anything. So, what do you need to tell me, Monique? And <laughs> Water is off limits. I don't think it's just over here. Oh, they said you want to drink it. I was like, <laughs> why would I hand it to you? Okay, so in freshman year, I had a crush on, you know, right? And I also had a crush on your ex, Brandon. I knew. You had a crush on Brandon? He knew. We both had a crush on the same person. I know. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to tell you. I just threw out the thing. Huh? What are you? What haven't you told me? Tell me now. <laughs> I'm kidding. Remember him. Um, the one I've had a crush on for ever and how he was there at there and I kind of <laughs> like him again. Or there's another person I like, but I don't know if they should tell you. Who? I kind of knew. Like I, yeah, I, I mean, I, know. I mean, I okay, like I have, but at the same time, he has a girlfriend, so that's a no no. Oh, I have another thing. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> what, what, what? Okay. I have a crush on someone, kind of, but I also kind of know. Is it someone we know? Who? I kind of feel like, hey, okay. I feel like you're gonna guess it too. <laughs> lie you told your mom. Mom, if you're watching this, when we said that we were gonna come home, but we went to check the box in the store. <laughs> then we took a movie. <laughs> what is your worst nightmare? Waking up and nobody remembers who I am. You wake up and you're just like, why are you in my house? And then I, I'm like, I live here and then you're like, me. And then I go to work and they're like, um, why are you here? I don't know, like go to my mom's house because I'm confused and she's like, uh, are you dropping off a package? I don't really like solicitors, like, nobody. That is kind of scary. Alright guys, if you want this to be a series, let us know and next time we'll add other people into it. Maybe, maybe not, I could be a liar. That was our possible first episode of Truth or Drink. As always, happy birthday! Thank you.